I'd like to go through how to make an animation like this in Blender with your existing models of FreeCAD or SolidWorks. These renders are quite nice and very useful. Let's start by uh, opening up a new Blender file and deleting the cube. I can tune my camera by hitting Alt-R to remove rotational settings, Alt-G to remove positional settings. And now I can uh, rotate this. Let's try R90 to rotate it 90 degrees and let's say Y on the Y axis. Notice that turns our camera sideways. So rotate again, R, 9, X on the X axis and enter. Now that I've got a camera, let's import a model. Import STL. With this STL selected, I can scale it. And this model is actually uh, from a partner channel of mine, All Visuals For You. All Visuals For You is an excellent channel that uh, I'll actually throw a link on how to make this in FreeCAD from their channel. It's a great channel. Check it out. Uh, with my camera highlighted, I'm going to hit R for rotate, 340 degrees, and I'll say Y on the Y axis. And that pitches my camera down a little bit. So I can move this up. Uh, now I can position my model uh, however I want to relative to the origin. And uh, with this highlighted, I hit Shift S and say cursor to center. Then I'll put a cursor on the center of my model. Uh, choose Create and uh, Empty. And now an Empty shows up in the center of my model. That'll mark the center. I can hit S to scale it up. And with this highlighted, I can hit the Shift key and right-click on my camera and right-click on the Empty once more. Uh, now I can hit Control p and choose Object, and that uh, gives me a dotted line, so my camera is parented to my empty. Uh, I can hit R and notice whatever I do to my empty, my camera follows. So I hit Escape, and now all I have to do is, with some nuance, spin my empty, and I can make a smooth animation, as you've seen at the beginning of the video. So let's do that by, uh, I'm going to up my timeline here. And with my empty selected, I'll create a keyframe with this button and hit I and choose rotation. And now I can move my um, timeline marker to say uh, frame 75 and I'll hit R, Z on the Z axis and 180 for 180 degrees and enter. And now I can move this again to say 150 and another 75 frames and I can say R Z 180 again going another 180 degrees and so now that you can tell I am rotating in my animation there is some nuance to this however as you can see uh, there is an acceleration in the beginning and a deceleration and that uh, might not be something that we want. So what I can do is activate my graph view key and we'll choose um, interpolation mode linear. And with a linear interpolation and go back to 3D view. Now I have a constant velocity, no acceleration, no deceleration. That's probably what you're looking for uh, in terms of these kinds of animations. Finally, I have all this slack, so I can just uh, take my ending or my ending here and move it to 150. So, with that being done, I can hurry and make a uh, quick uh, animation from this. I can split screen this. I can hit the zero key, and now I can position my camera and the other screen. Uh, to get a pretty ideal view. Uh, so we've gotten that. Let's uh, I'll tell you what, make this a little bit smaller. And we're going to say create plane. I'll scale this up large. You can also, as we've discussed in other uh, videos of this series, create a image texture if you want to have more of a texture or realistic looking ground in your rendering. Again, we'll scale this up to be a very, very large plane. And 
under here we can change this to cycles new material and we'll give this a principled we'll make it my metallic value of one roughness value of 0.2 so it will be reflective but still rough and we can give this kind of a dark texture okay uh, I can right click on my lamp we'll make this a size of 0.3 we use nose and give this a brightness of maybe 1500 and I can uh, choose render it up here so that's what we're looking at so far notice we've got a nice little reflection on the floor highlighting this chair uh, we might as well give it a color whoops we'll give this a color let's say we'll make it a red chair it's kind of a cool contemporary red Panton chair you know under diffuse we'll choose instead principled that's my favorite thing to use of course that got rid of our color make that a metallic value of one a roughness value of say 0.3 and there we have a red chair with kind of a black background, looks kind of sharp. Uh, we're relatively dark, and so I'm going to shift A, create a lamp, and I'm going to make it a sun. And let's make the sun the size of a 0.3, and we'll give this a strength of maybe 3. And it kind of lightens up our model a little bit. Um, it can go crazy and go like 10 or 100. Notice how bright that is, and that's supposed to be a black background. So, um, 50, that makes the chair look bright, but you still keep that nice dark background. Um, our size has some um, fireflies, and so I'm going to make this a size of 3. And, of course, with the bigger sun, you have to uh, reduce your size a little bit. So let's go down to 10 or 5 or 3. Yeah, three looks good, and there's no fireflies, really. So I think we're ready to make an animation. So, of course, we're going to be rendering to a resolution of 50% of 1920 by 1080. Uh, under sampling, I'm going to go with 300 uh, samples. And let's go with something like a file name of slash slash uh, rotation and so whatever file you have this saved in um, you'll render it and then a rotation output will exist uh, finally how about we do a save as And now render, render animation. So now we're currently rendering um, frame one of 150. We've got 150 to go. I will uh, post the final rendering when we are all rendered. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.